Hello and welcome to this weekend's video, week ending June 23rd, 2017 for gold and silver. And uh, let's start this off within the gold to silver ratio, looking at the monthly chart. And we're going to do this all short-handed candles, meaning only a few of them. It helps you see the current time a little bit better because there's less congestion in the way and it's just easy to see these to, to, but but you don't got much previous data to work with either i did stick in a 100 average uh front weighted although it really doesn't make a difference too much if it's weighted exp exponential or linear or simple i don't know they're all about the same it helps determine the more longer term picture so i can see in here that there was support at an area of uh, this period, uh, this average, so obviously an uptrend. I can see in here within this up move that markets correct through price and or time. There's a little bit of price and there's some time. Is it leaving this correctionary phase? Well, that's what this I love about this band because it's telling me, yes, it's attempting to do so. And in a break of this level, then you'd be looking at about 82. And we take a look at this on the weekly time frame. Such a clear, clear break of a three times, or really two times hit, but a clear level of resistance in at 73 that has been supported. It has been supported, yes. So we've already know what the target is. And you come up, establish resistance, come to the band, looking to take it out. So this is all easy now. Breaking this resistance, then that number should come into play. However, when you tell me that you're trying to attempt to have a move coming from here to here and that's it that ain't good enough therefore if this does happen to top let me draw some lines just a quick little line in here if this tops which means price action falls back in here that well then you would have a situation of the classic failed breakout fast move to the downside of course at this stage it's nowhere near as looking that way, but that's on the if case scenario, price action goes in here. Let's move this on to the silver market now. And in its daily time frame or its daily chart, resisting the 18 average of lows, this more longer term 100 moving average at a key area of support, mm, nope, not quite. Resisted it, yes, yes, it did resist it. And what we know from moving down below this area here, you leave the uh, declining 18 average after hitting it at some form, and this is some form, and you could have a further decline again, weekly time frame. These time frames getting longer are showing so much a neutrality in a situation where you can just pretty much call this all sideways for the most part within such situation of okay trying to make a move and revert trend okay we establish resistance good job support test good job break it yeah technically but even not really not i don't even really count that much as a failed move it's a matching test small pierce above and it falls below this area so lower low a deeper pullback last time the sellers only did this now the sellers do more okay rally up to the 18 average of highs but it's breaking down below this 18 average and that's even more cautious when it gets to the highs and you see it doing something like this i mean a lot of the neutrality choppy stuff makes it hard for me to trust any short conviction but the trend of this market is totally sideways monthly chart most definitely for, I'm going to draw, I guess we do it this way. Maybe a little, I guess we base it with this resistance. However you want to draw it, it's obviously got a lot of sideways motion from the previous decline because this was a deep bear market. Resisting the band, leg to previous high resisting the band back to previous high resisting the band lower well previous low i should i think i said uh, previous high but previous low each time lower low lower high 
and there's the attempt to break it. So this is the first time since this like bear market begun, it's even attempted to do something bullish. It hasn't lost its bullish attempt to do it. It hasn't went bearish yet either. Because for it to go bearish, this 18 average has to start declining. But for it to go bullish, it's not only got to get above this resistance, but it's first got to get in here just to attempt to test the previous high in or around the 21 or so variable mark. Let's move on to gold now with the daily chart. And like silver on its daily, it's resisting within this 18 average. And at this stage in here, you've got this leg lower, so it's resisting, is it resisting any previous key area? Yeah, that previous support, yeah, that counts as a key area. And uh, for any type of reversal, of reversal of trends, it's got a long ways to go because this band indicates to me that it's just entering it. I know any further declines, you see red candles starting to go lower, then there's definitely reason to expect that it's going to be another leg below this and you'd have to think maybe coming down to this previous support level moving it on to the weekly and it's in a situation where after this very long decline a decent rally a decent rally finding support within the band and establish resistance come back to the band break resistance it, it kind of happened there in fact not only kind of it actually did happen so now you're in a situation, there is good reason you could say to go long here, and yet you're long at like 12.80 or so, price action's at 12.56, it's lower, but the trend hasn't been destroyed, at least not at this point. If it can maybe stay hold below this band for a decent period of time, any sudden surge breaks above below here, well that would definitely change the tune pretty darn near quickly, but when you got a pattern of making these uh, higher lows like this, the 18 average band will stay, at least in a non-bearish sense, which is the case. I guess this level of uh, resistance is even more established now. But I, I like to show when I talk about things like that, situations where, okay, these plays don't always work. Uh, like it's like the easiest thing in the world to make money and it always will give you good plays. No. And it's very common for people to actually go along here. And a lot of these, the selling is because of people that did get trapped within this rally. So you got to realize as a trader, okay, a decent portion of this uh, would be the case. Now, of course, this market here is traded by whom? And that's just another complex story. But in a free market anyway, and I guess even to a case, I guess in this one too, there are selling in here because people thought that this thing was going to break out. And they realized that, that they could handle anything maybe up to this point, but but not down in here. So I'd like to uh, Actually, I got the monthly chart then I will end it. So I got one more time frame to go and Within such it shows more of this like silver the sideways neutrality, but guess what? 1380 ish definitely 14 and definitely 14 well into the 14s, 14, 20, 14, 35-ish ballpark, when you see price action in there, this thing is going to be in a nice looking bull market when that happens because it's going to be breaking some key levels of support. Until then, while we're at it, it's obviously got the sideways movement like silver does on its monthly time frame. But within it, failed move, fast move possibility. This... Uh, might have caught a few shorts, which could have sparked a little bit of the rally. But a situation in here where the market fell down, but it didn't really have a leg lower. So how much of this would have been uh, people getting out of shorts? I'm sure some of it would have been. But the bottom line is, if I see a nice move like this, this was a horrendous down move afterwards. It's regaining itself pretty nicely. I mean, overall, it's in that neutral middle spot. But it's built up a lot of energy that on the break of this move, and even with the silver market, a lot of energy and, and time and price has been supplemented to big gains. And even with the longer term, not going to show it, but over the last uh, lot correction since 1980, I look at that as a heck of a lot of energy. of Because when markets go sideways, it's almost like you got a breather. So 
for the next move. You got a whole heck of a lot of energy to run so fast. You're going to go so far. That's how I look at it as. And, and then, of course, when markets are going up, you're going to run out of steam. And if you have more steam to start, you can go farther on your race. Take care and have yourself a magnificent weekend. Bye-bye.